Rest in peace, all of our controllers. Alraran has come out. This card looks absolutely amazing as well with these stats and play styles. Five-star skills. We're going to show you how to grind them in today's video. We need an 85 team of the week, an 86 team of the week, an 87, an 86, an 87 team of the week, sorry, an 89 and an 88. So you can see here, very team of the week orientated. You're going to want to have the player pick. The 80 plus triple upgrade, the 84 times 5, get this done as soon as you can. As well as having on top of that the team of the week player pick and the 100 upgrade. Why not? We'll chuck that in there as well. So we are going to go through first of all and have a look at this triple upgrade first to see what we need and see how easy it is to grind. So we need one rare and 10 common. So I'm going to go ahead and build this and I'll be right back once that is done. So that has been complete. I've used more rares because I've run out of commons, but I will show you how to get commons in this video as well. Let's go ahead and open up this pack and see what we get. So 80 plus times 3, what do we get? It's just going to be a goal, so we will skip it. And that's going to be perfect for the next step. Time to upgrade your team. Head over to lootbar.gg. Best and most reliable place to buy coins. Don't forget to use code NANIC for 8% off on all your orders. Once they have made their way through, the coins will be delivered within the next 24 hours. And you will be ready to improve any of your team. Like I said, the link will be down in the description and the comment section. Use code NANIC for 8% off and improve your team today. So the first thing I want to highlight with Al Waran after we open that pack, he is here for two months. So we've got plenty of time to grind him. If you want him quicker than rather than later, I recommend getting rid of these triple upgrades. I know you get three cards back, but just for now, get rid of them and just do the player picks. Now, as you've probably seen, and as I've mentioned, I do not have any more commons in my club. And just to show you that, we're going to go to gold common. And you can see I have zero. So I found the best way to get commons at this minute in time is to do the classic upgrades of bronze into silver into your daily gold. But once you've got rid of all of your golds, like four every day, you get 44 back. Once you've got rid of these daily gold upgrades, I always get the question, what do I do next? Loads of people are suggesting doing this silver upgrade. Do not do that. Make sure you are doing the premium one instead. That's going to give you five golds back. So that means you only need one rare for the pick, five for the commons for one pick as well. So we're going to set this to low to high on silver. We're going to go ahead and pop in all of our silver commons, not rares. So make sure the shiny silvers don't go in or the non-rares are inside the SBC and not the rares themselves. The reason being is the rares you can get better use out of later. So we've gone ahead and completed that and then we can go ahead and submit the squad. Now, unfortunately, there are only heroes and icons in packs. And the flip side of that is there's only heroes and icons in packs, so it's better. But that means you can't get them from their base cards being common, etc. So you're going to have to basically pack them as they are. So the more of these you complete once you've done your daily gold login, the more picks you get. So as you can see right now, we got five gold commons. That can then go straight away into the 80 plus player pick. Once this 80 plus player pick is gone, do not worry, don't panic. You can go ahead and do the 80 plus triple with the exact same method I showed you. But on Monday, today being Friday, on Monday we will get some more player picks. I'm going to guess it's going to be 81 plus player picks. Hopefully I'm wrong and they're better rated, but we'll see. But as you can see here, the five picks go into this, or the five gold commas, sorry, go into this that we got from that pack. And then we can go ahead and pop in a gold rare. Now, once you've got rid of these picks and they're not there anymore for you, what you're going to have to do is start doing the triples, as I've said. Go ahead and put all rares in. Don't worry about what you get out of them. But let's open up our pick and see what we get out of this. As you can see, we've got an 85, which is absolutely fantastic. Now, if we go back to the LR round SBC that's currently out, we have an 85 rated team with a team of the week, as you know. Now, that 85 rated is going to be absolutely helpful for doing this team of the week pick. Reason being is there's an 85 rated team that needs an, eight, or sorry, an 81 or higher with an 83 rated team. So we can go ahead and put in our Gre uh, Grealish there from doing this. And now don't forget, on top of this, I will show you how to get high rated fodder for free without having to open any packs or grind any SBCs. Don't worry about that. I will show you. But first, let's go ahead and complete this SBC. And we're going to go ahead and put in a load of 82s. Now, the reason why we do this is because even though it's 83 rated, that 85 will push the rating up more. I hope you understand what I'm saying. We need an 83 altogether, but because we have an 85 in, we can go ahead and put in 82s. Now, immediately, this is not going to be enough to complete the SBC, but what I am going to show you, which will work for every SBC that's out, so let's use argument's sake, it's a 90 rated SBC. You can actually put in nine 90s in and then two 89s, and that will get it complete. So right now, we're 82 rated. So let's see how many 83s we need to pop into this to get us to 83 rated. So, so far, it's going to be three. It should be four or five, I believe. There, so you go there. Four 83s will get it done, and the rest can be 82s of an 85. Now, this is possible to do just from player picks and from the 80-plus triple upgrades as well. Do not worry. 
But as you can see, it also gives us a pack back on top. This is why I like this. Now, it's going to be four gold, four silver, four bronzes. So your bronzes can go into the premium bronze upgrade. Your silvers can go into the premium silver upgrade. And then these golds can go into a player pick or into the triple upgrade, depending on your club situation. Now, I've got a lot of duplicates because of how many uh, bronze pack methods I do and how many bronze packs I open all together. But your situation shouldn't be like that. And the same for this SBC as well. So again, it's an 84 rated. We need two of them. And then we can have 82s all together. So we are going to go ahead and pop in two 84s. And as you can see, if we scroll down all the way to 81 rated, you will be able to go ahead and complete this just with 81s and two 84s in it. Now, it's really important that you do this and be very consistent with it because that's going to help you in the long run. And if anybody is a member in the channel and understand what I'm saying, don't worry, I will be posting a members video. Once we get Sunday out of the way, I haven't posted in a little while. On Sunday, I will be posting. So you guys that are members, you'll understand. We can see here we got this done with all 81s and 284s in. That's given us a team of the week. Now, of course, we are looking for the highest rated team of the week for how many SBCs that need team of the week in the LR round. So let's go ahead and open this and see what we get. An 89 Odengard came in clutch there. Not only that, we've got two Arsenal players, which is mental. But let's say you got an 87. You are looking to get one 87 team of the week out of this because when we go back to Elwaran, the most expensive one we need is an 87 with a team of the week. So if we get cheaper, that makes it even better. Now, going back to the initial ground, we have, of course, got these 84 times 5. Like I say, try and get them done as soon as you can. Once you've done all of these, then go over to the ultimate birthday upgrade because that's going to give you bronzes and silvers and golds, which can help you with player picks, the silver upgrades to get more gold commons, and bronzes to do the daily upgrade every time it comes out every day. So once you've done a lot of these player picks or a lot of these triple upgrades, which have disappeared now because I've got rid of them, go ahead and do the 84 times 5. Now, of course, we need a team of the week in it. If you don't have any team of the weeks, just do the same thing I did for the what, what I got from my team of the week player pick. As you can see, if we go low to hard, we can just stick in anyone here. And again, we just need an 82 rated team but because that 85 team of the week is 85 rated we can actually go ahead and put in lower rated cards so we can actually probably go down to 80 and pop these all in so let me go ahead and do this now and just see what the rating is and if we can get away of putting in 80s that's absolutely fantastic because you'll get an absolute abundance from them especially from doing the triple upgrades and if we need to use higher rated cards we can go ahead and see so let's go and put a couple 81s on the bench just in case and if you're wondering how i'm swapping so fast you just press start or pause on your controller and it's just lb and l1 to switch between position and position and then you should be on your way so as you can see there we are on 80 rated we're not even close to 82 now we are on 81, so it looks like we may need to have a lot of 81 rated, but as you probably noticed in my club, I don't have them. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is just complete this SBC and I'll be back once it's done. So it has been done and we've got 1, 2, 3, 4 82s in and then we've got 3 81s and 80. So just keep messing around until you get the rating as low as you possibly can. Now, the reason why I'm stressing to get these done because they do end in 23 hours and this is going to really kickstart you on your grind. Now, don't forget there is rivals, squad battles and foot champ rewards or weekend really rewards, whatever you call it, to add on top of this. Plus objectives There's an 85 times 20, etc. or 85 times 10 out. So as you can see here, it looks like we've got Bernardo Silva, which is 88 rate, which is absolutely fantastic for one El Waran. But let's say you didn't have enough to complete the 87 rated squad of Alwaran and the same for the 85. So this 85 can go into the team of the week player pick. Two 84s can go back into the team of the week player pick as well. The other 84 we can save. And let's just say this 88, you didn't have anything else to do with it. And you're like, well, I still need golds to be able to build up player picks and continue to grind on. Well, go back to the SBC tab and make your way over to the exchanges. As you can see here, exchanges. And an 88 rated player is going to give us 27 players back which is going to be just short of three 80 plus triples or on top of that, at least what, six, seven, six, 12, 18, around five player picks back as well, depending on where you are and what you're seeing when you're out. So you can do five player picks or you can do two 83 triples plus an extra 83 triple because you're going to get three players back. Now, the other beautiful thing about the exchange packs on top of this is it is a chance of getting walkouts and stuff like that on top of this as well. So not only do we get ourselves a gamble of trying to get something good, we don't in this video, but it looks like this is going to be Mbappe. He's going to be a French goalkeeper from Juventus. I have no clue. I think it's an 84 rated. But as you can see here, that's going to be four players that can go in. The same of all these can go into upgrades. And then our duplicates are going to be an 83, an 83, and another 83, which is really good for the team of the week player pick, as well as anything else that we wanted to do. So for example, an 84 times 5. So let's just say, in argument's sake, that you already had a team of the week that you're ready to use. Those duplicates can go in. And we've got ourselves another one of these done. Now, we switched them over one by one. It's because now we can just pop these in just like that on most recent. 
and we can get rid of all those cards. Now, what I'm going to do here is go to Team of the Week. We're going to go low to high or high to low. And as you can see, my club's full of Team of the Weeks. Reason being is I do this grind process almost every day, and you will get yourself a crazy amount of Team of the Weeks from just doing menu grinding and much more. So as we go through this now, you can see we're going to go all the way down to about 82 rated if we've got enough. Try not to put in every two rated player I have because I do want to have um, Mendy saved just in case we can Evo him one day. And we go, 82 rated, fantastic. So we could go ahead and swap some of the ratings around to get it cheaper, but for the sake of this video, we're going to go ahead and submit them just to speed things up. So we've got 284 times 5 done just from this video alone. we still got 100 pack to do, plus more as we go through. So as you can see now, we're going to go back to the store. We're going to go ahead and open up the pack, and then we're going to get basically our duplicates back. So now we have this Ansu Fatty to put in. Now, this is a perfect example of the triple upgrade if you're not going to do player picks. Or that could be our one rare to go into player picks, and then we can use commons. But for the sake of this video, we will go ahead and do the triple upgrade. And we're going to put in that one rare again, because we only need to have one rare, as you can see. So again, we can use the silver upgrade, and we can go around and do it that way. So let's go to newest. And we can go ahead and get Ansu Fatty in. And then we can go ahead and pop in all these commons if you want to be super efficient. Commons, always as many as you can get in and then do rares afterwards. Never get rid of all your rares as you can because they are the ones that are normally required to complete SBCs. Whereas commons, they don't ever require you just to have commons in. So you can see here, we got ourselves a triple done. So we should have two more available from the exchange plus getting the pack back from this. So again, we go back to the store. We're going to send our Ansu Fati back into our club, which is going to be really, really useful. And then we can basically go ahead and open up the packs. So we're going to open up our triple first. So we get three gold rares back, which again could go into a player pick. Or that could be three players towards the um, 83, 80 plus triple, sorry. Or whatever else we get in there. So it looks like it's going to be 85 Trippier, which is a really good example of a player that we want to get. So we've got an 83 and an 85. Trippier is going to go into an exchange. And our 83 can go into a team of the week pick or anything like that. Now, with this pack alone... As you saw there, we got ourselves two golds back that can go into other SPCs. And then that 85 exchange is then going to give us seven players, which can then help us complete the triple again. Or it can be one player pick overall. I hope I'm not losing you with all this. But as you can see here, the more efficient you are with this, the easier the grind becomes. Now we've got our 84 plus times five to open. So let's go ahead and open that now. But of course, sending Trippier back into our club first. Always, always, always recycle when you can. Never leave any player behind. Like I say, and I can't stress it enough, the more efficient you are, the easier it becomes to grind in. So let's go ahead and open up our 84 plus times 5 and see what we get out of this. It's going to be a gold card again. English. It's going to be right back. It's going to be Trent. So is it going to be a double walkout? Let's see. And it is a double walkout. So let's go ahead and see what the second card is. Now, right now, we've got a lot of fodder to be able to do Alwaran, to do the 100 upgrade, to be able to do exchanges. We've got unlimited resources here with this. If we were to put both of those cards in, that's going to give us at least five upgrades back. And we've got three 84s as well. So you can see they're very, very easy. Now, if you want to learn more stuff like this, subscribe to the channel. Comment down below if you do have any questions, and I will catch you in the next video. Let's see what we get out of this part. We will skip it. Let's hope it's a walkout, but it's Italian. So unless it's Donnarumma, it's going to be no one. And it's not. I'll catch you in the next one.